Welcome, and um, today class is going to be the same like yesterday, half an hour. We're going to do a nice gentle yoga, really nice easy poses. Try to just um, bring that calmness to the body, right? And after that, we spend the remaining of the time doing a little bit meditation today. So. Um, uh, get ready, go on your back and your mat. Uh, don't go on your back yet. Make sure you have um, blocks and strap. And if you don't have blocks, that's okay. You can have cushion. And if you don't have a strap, you can have towel. So whatever you have and just get it ready close to you so you don't have to, you know, kind of go around and find it. Very good. First of all, do you like my background? Yeah, feels good. And uh, just look at that bird. We will talk about bird later on in our meditation. So it's such a beautiful picture that I thought would be perfect for today. Practice and meditation. So let's get ready with your smile. So you can hear me well from here. I just want to make sure when I go far away, you can hear me. Very good, let's sit comfortably. Before we go down and start doing some other poses, we just sit here nicely and we just kind of slowly go back, just like almost like you want to go back, but you're not going back. And there is this beautiful muscles in your core that's holding you upright. So you go comfortably down and you come front. So we go back, inhale and exhale. Very gentle movement. Really, you hardly can feel you putting a lot of effort in it. Very slow. And the reason we do this, we want to warm up the core because the core is the one who's going to send blood to the entire body. So we can relax it even more. That's it. Just a nice, it's like you're rowing the boat. Yeah, you can always close your eyes and think you're rowing a boat somewhere. Nicely, since we can travel, we can only imagine things. Yeah? So let's do six more. Just a nice, gentle flow. That's it. And keep in mind your back, how you're feeling. Keep your mind, your hip. So you're moving gently and slowly. And give me three more. Two. And the last one, beautiful. Now we can add a little bit more to this. We're gonna go all the way down, just a little bit more down and come forward, fold. That's it. So a little more stretch for back, inhale back, exhale forward. Bend. Again, very gentle, very slow, just feeling entire body opening very slowly. Have no expectation, no judgment, uh, simple movement. Very good. We're doing 10, so you give me six more. Peaceful movement. It's incredible how deep you can work and go by just relaxing your mind, relaxing your nervous system. And four more. Inhale back. Exhale, fold. Three. Two. And the last one, as we come in front, we're gonna come, come, come in front and we're gonna drop the arms and we're gonna hold and surrender. So no forcing, no pushing, no getting to the point where it's painful. In yoga, we don't believe if there is no pain, no gain. There should not be pain at any time and you will still gain. You need you to relax, taking your mind to your tailbone, to your hamstring, to the lower back, and just feel the crown of head is coming forward, maybe facing the wall in front of you if you're flexible enough, it could be facing your toes. 
It's all for more breath. Very soft, very gentle. And two more. And last inhale. And slowly come all the way up, nice and slow. Very good. And open your legs wider than your mat and keep your spine nice and straight. Heel is down, toes up, and you lock your knees. So even if you're moving forward or back, your legs are not moving, your heels are not moving. Now we can add the arms here and bring the arms, bend the elbows 90 degrees. And we're gonna go very slow side to side. Inhale, exhale. So I want you to focus on that straight spine. Legs don't move. We're warming up the spine. You can feel it, nice and slow. Take your mind every time you turn, which muscles are working here? And so just go gentle and slow and allow them to soften. These are your waistline, your obliques, that they actually hold your spine and control your movement. So let's just warm them up. Bring some beautiful flow there, flexibilities. Keep going and relaxing. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Drop your arms, keep your legs. Let's circle the shoulder slightly, just massage the shoulder a little bit mindfully just moving those arms back and see if you feel sometime you might hear some popping sound if you really tight in your shoulders and if you don't hear that's great if you hear that's fine it's nothing wrong and opposite direction circle again try to relax here try not to force try just enjoy just enjoy this energy. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Now, lift the shoulder up like really squeeze. Bring the shoulder to your ears and drop. Give me four more. Lift and squeeze and drop. Three more. Two. And last one. Notice how hard it feels just to sit upright, especially if you're not used to it. So we wanna train the body to stay upright. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna open the arms really wide to the side like letter T and keep the spine straight and chin is facing the floor. So you're not looking down, just the neck is straight and you go reaching the opposite leg with your hands. If you can't reach, just stay in front and pretend there is a wall in front and you are pushing that wall. And as you're pushing that wall, you're feeling your legs and your upper body is lengthening and is stretching and is warming up. Very good, just keep going. We're doing two minutes here. do this very gentle or you can do it really so much that your hands can reach the toes or they can be aligned with the toes so that is really nice stretch for your back and hip and if you cannot reach no big deal and we're doing 30 more seconds breathe Three, two, and last one. Excellent. Bring your leg back. You feel like already, ooh, 
I feel my hip, I may feel my arm, this is great. Just inhale, lift the arms up to stretch. Exhale, relax. So bend the knees and come slowly down. Very slow, very slow, very slow. Down. And take your arms over your head and stretch the entire body. Stretch the leg and relax. So we're gonna add some flow here to feel the body nicely opening. Inhale, arms over the head. Exhale, bend the right knee, lift head and shoulder and bring your hands by your side. Good. Inhale down, exhale left. So you can feel how beautifully the body's working here, especially your back and core. And that's what we need. Very slow. And give me eight more each side. Inhale when you go down. Exhale when you come up. Very smooth. And keep your mind here. Sometimes we get too comfortable and the mind starts shifting. And so that's no good. I mean, it's okay. No judgment. Just bring it back and start again, whatever you're doing. Give me five more each side. Really slow. Focus on the breath. Three. Such a beautiful, easy movement, and yet so powerful. You can feel your core and your back. Two more each side. And last one each side. The right leg up. Arms down. And the left knee up. And arms down. Excellent. Nicely relaxed. Bend the knees. And we're going to come and bring the feet to the edge of the mat. Beautiful. And then bring the knees together. Just let the hip rest. We're going to do some internal and external hip rotation. Now relax first here. See if you can take, when you have the knees together, see if you can take your feet half inch outside your mat. And you can feel the hip. And see if you can bring the inner side of your feet on the mat and the edges of your feet are lifted up. And you can feel that hip. Mm, it feels so good. Now, this is one thing we do. And then you bring you walk your feet together into butterfly and drop the knees to the side. External rotation. So we're going to repeat this movement one after another with the breath 10 times yeah this is inhale butterfly exhale knees together feet to the side and knees touching inhale feet together knees drop exhale knees back feet to the side inhale butterfly feet touching Exhale, knees touching, face to the side. Now, go ahead, do eight of those quietly and see how it feels for your hip and glutes. Keep your mind there. Just feel that external, internal rotation for your hip. We don't do enough. Thanks for our help. Keep going. And four more. This is your last one. As you come to butterfly, keep your feet there. Drop the knees. 
Let's relax the hip and glutes. And you can just rock without contracting your glutes. Just rock. This is a beautiful massage for your glutes. And you can feel it. It feels very relaxing. Just stay here, rocking, rocking nicely those muscles. Bring some blood there. Warm them up. One more breath. Beautiful. Now we go back to the internal rotation. Bring the knees together, feet to the side and hold here. Hold. Three. Two. One. Excellent. Walk your feet back center. Keep the knee bended and just feel your lower back hip resting. Okay. Now without lifting the hip, we're going to just focus on the tailbone. Hands by your side if you like. So slowly just lift the tailbone to the ceiling. A nice lift. And you can feel that nice flat back in your back. And exhale, drop the hip, the tailbone down. Relax, feel the arch in your lower back. And let's do this together. Nicely with the breath. Give me nine more. You can do all these in the morning, just when you're waking up in your bed. Such a beautiful movement to um, relax if there's any tension in your lower back or hip. You kind of release it, especially if you sleep in one side more than the other. And keep going, just the tailbone. And feel how nice it feels when you're just lifting it and you're stretching and bringing some blood and flow into vertebra in your lumbar spine. Just feel it. Feel so relaxing. And four more. Very nice. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Relax your hip down. Now we're going to do the same thing you were doing, but we're going to lift the hip also up. So relax, inhale. Exhale, scoop that tailbone forward, lift the hip up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower down, rest. Inhale, when you're down, exhale, lift the tailbone, lift the hip, and then slowly lower. Inhale, and as you exhale and you lift it, and then slowly lower, back to inhale. And four more, very smooth, very slow, no rushing. Keep going. Two more. Beautiful, and last one. Let's drop the hip, we're gonna come back to this, but first let's bend the knees to the chest and relax. You can hold on your shin and rock side to side, just relaxing even more. Beautiful. Put your feet down. We're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to add the arms. So lift the arms. As you're lifting the arms, you're lifting the hip, you're lifting the tailbone, you lift, you lift, you lift, you use your heel, you lift, you stretch, inhale. Exhale, drop the arms, drop the hip. Give me seven more. Three. And the last one. Very nice. Drop the hip, relax. Draw the knees to the chest. Put the hands in the shin. By this time, lift head and shoulder. So let's just stretch a little more of that spine. Ah, oh, feels so good. Stretch. Three, two, one. Drop the head, relax your neck. Lift the leg up. Point and flex. Point and flex, nicely relaxing. 
and drop the left leg down, hold on the right leg up. Now, if you have a strap, you can put the strap over your, the arch in your foot. If you already can reach your toes and the heel is up and the leg straight, then it's okay, you don't need the strap. But if you're not there today and the leg should be straight and heel lifted, toes down, use your strap. This makes it easier to stretch now. So let's hold here. Keep the left leg nicely down and the right leg. They're both nicely straight and just hold here. Hold your strap, whatever you're holding today and feel the nice opening. Be patient. Five inhales. Beautiful. Now, you can take that left leg. If you have a strap, that's fine. You hold the, the right hand, the strap, and take that leg all the way to the left side. If you can, whatever hands you're holding, just take that right leg to the left. If you have the strap, great. If not, that's fine. Bend the knee to reach and look over your right shoulder. So your right shoulder is down and you're actively looking over the right arm. Try to relax the right hip. And slowly, you can bend the knee if straight is too hard. Bring it back, legs up in here, legs down, exhale, rest. Lifting the left leg up again, if you wanna use the strap, if you can reach, go ahead, put where the arch in your foot is and relax the left leg. Both legs are straight and the heel is up to the ceiling, toes to the chest. Holding here nicely, stretching. The focus is on hamstring and hip stretch. So try to just take your mind there and relax. Three more breaths. Beautiful, now we're gonna take that leg all the way to the other side. It could be straight, it could be slightly bent, it doesn't matter, but your left arm is down and you're looking over your left shoulder. Gently bend the left knee and bring the left leg up and left leg down and relax both legs. Very nice. Inhale, stretch the entire body. Turn to the side and come all the way up on your hands and knees. So give me two nice cat and cow. Inhale, lift the tailbone up. Exhale, rounding. One more. And round. Now take your right leg back and lift your left leg. Both are lifted. And we do five floor here. Stabilizing. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful drop, your legs and arm, and two cat and cow. Inhale, exhale. Very gentle, massaging your spine. Good, come back, hands under the shoulder, knees under the hip, take your left leg back, right arm up, and lift. Ready, five floor, inhale, exhale.
two more. And last one. Beautiful. Come down. You stretch it. And then come all the way up. Take your right leg in front. And we're going to come to a nice, some low lunges here. When you're ready, come all the way up your hands on your right knee. Left leg is back. You can always have a look, see if it's straight, centering, so it feels much more comfortable when straight leg. Now shift the body weight forward slightly. Your knee is 90 degrees, and you can feel that nice, beautiful stretch. Breathe here. We're going to lift the arms up, inhale, stretch. And when you're ready, you can take the arms more back and take the chest up. You can have palm to palm if you like. And feel the stretch on that left side hip. Try to relax here. Beautiful, come back, hands on your right thigh and take your left hand to the right thigh and just give that hip a nice stretch you can always straight the arm or you can wrap the arm or you can just put it here and feel the right shoulder nicely stretching beautiful come back this time we're going to do a little bit of hamstring stretch take your hip back and place your heel down toes up and look just a foot away from your foot Nice stretch that right side. And if you have your block or blocks, it's time to use those as well to go a little deeper into the hip if you like. Otherwise, you can stay there if that feels okay for you today. You can put the block anywhere you like. We have this block here. Whatever block you want to use, stay up and stretch just a little bit more. And if you feel like you want to go deeper, you can always go deeper or you can stay where you are. Three more inhale. And come back, take the blocks. And come into a nice child pose to rest. You can use the block under your head to relax, or you can just rest. And we're gonna lift the head up, and we're gonna go to the other side. Take the left leg in front, right leg back, and prepare for low lunge nicely. Center both legs. Take a moment, look and see if everything is aligned and push your body weight toward the left leg in front. Good. Center everything, feel nicely relaxed here. Feel the hip right side. Start getting ready to stretch. Now that you feel it and you have stabilized everything, slowly lift the arms up. When you're ready, you can take the arms more back and stretch just a little bit more, the right side hip. And slowly come back. And we're gonna do a gentle hamstring stretch, aligning the right knee under the right hip and the left leg straight, heel down, toes up. Look in front, about one foot or so, and stretch it. Just feel that beautiful opening. Now, only if you want to go deeper, you will go deeper. You can use your block 
or both blocks, whatever feels comfortable for you. And again, we just sit here nicely, see if we can use whatever you have to stretch a little bit more the hamstring. And when you're ready, take that leg back into child pose, sit on your heels, and rest any way you like in your child pose. And slowly, put everything to the side, and we're gonna come to rest in our final pose in our nice gentle yoga today with nice stretches. And so we can prepare ourselves for our next class meditation. For now, rest, relax the entire body. Relax. Relaxing the entire body. You can stay here relaxing if you're not doing the next class, meditation. And if you are doing it, slowly, gently turn to the side.